Police have been ordered to take over security on our public transport. 450 transit officers will go, replaced by an extra 300 police. They'll bring with them greater powers to hunt down criminals. More police will soon be hopping on board a bus, train or ferry near you. Rail corridors for some time have been used as crime corridors. Until now, transit officers have patrolled public transport, but the government wants officers with more muscle. Transit officers do a great job, but they do not have police powers, and that is what is desperately needed on the rail network. The number of transit officers will be cut from 600 to 150. 450 jobs will go, but more than 300 new police officers will be hired. They'll be part of a 600-strong police unit which will take control. Quite simply, criminals should not f believe for one moment that the public transport system was a safe haven for them. The opposition questions why more officers are being put on public transport while Western Sydney residents endure regular drive-by shootings with fewer police. This is a government that's getting its masters in spin. Twelve of the 15 local area commands in Western and South Western Sydney are under-resourced. The union fears the cuts will reduce commuter safety. Unless this is really taken very carefully, uh, we predict that there will be an increase on, on crime on the network. The extra police will be on the beat by the end of 2014. Lee Jellisek, 7 News.